Today, on Always Hungry, we're making Clowns Casino. This one's for you. I am Manny Sari7, whatever your username is. If you think I'm not looking at the comments, guess what? I do. And sometimes it hurts. But let's make it today for you. No one really knows where the clams casinos are from. I think it's like an Italian American recipe. There's a bunch of different ways to make it. And you know what? Today I'm gonna go with my version. I'm using better ingredients than the usual recipes. We have those beautiful shishito peppers. We have these little neck clams. We got garlic. We got shallots. We got some thick cut bacon, some parsley, some lemons. Some breadcrumb, I'm using panko today. The best olive oil in the world. Link in bio, you already know. A beautiful Chablis white wine, you know, you can use a lesser one, but this one's, you know. And some room temperature butter, which I don't have. I have this very cold butter here. But you know what? Go pocket for 10 minutes. Okay, perfect. First step, we're gonna wash the clams. It's a very important step. If you skip this, it might just ruin your whole eating experience, you know, no one likes a sandy clam. So, the trick here is cold water and salt. You wanna purge them. Cold water here, clams go in. You can do this in the sink, obviously, but you know, I wanna show you guys how it's done. See, in a second, this water is already filthy. Don't wanna add any food, guys, okay? Now, this trick, apparently, I mean, I've never seen it in action, okay? I never saw an actual clam spitting sand, but apparently, when you put salt in the water, the clams are gonna be spitting out the sand. It's called a purge. Let's try it. So you can do that first for like a couple of minutes and then uh, we're gonna rinse them out under cold water and uh, do it again and again and again and again and again and again and again until the water runs clear. Just like when you're washing your rice, you know, until it's clear. While the clams are purging in the sink, we are gonna start with the aromatics to cook the clams. So we have some sliced shallots, sliced garlic, and some parsley stems. Keep it simple, keep it fresh, keep it good, baby. We're gonna start with a bit of olive oil here. Now shallots can go in. Garlic and the parsley stems. Medium heat, that's good. So all we're doing right now is extracting all the flavor from the aromatics in the olive oil, which will be the carrier for this whole clam situation. Speaking of clams, I think they're good to be rinsed now. As you can see now, everything is softened up. All the flavor is extracted. You can proceed with the clams right in the pan. And now even by doing this, the shell of the clam being in contact with the oil, it's like when you start like a seafood stock. So we're gonna get mad flavor in the oil from the shells being in there with the rest, you know? Don't do that too, you're gonna break the shells. Unless you're an expert like me, there's just something special about clams, you know? When you smell those shallots and garlic, and then the clams are in. Some people even just like slap the clams on a tray in the oven until they open. I just feel like, you know, they deserve all the love, you know? So that's why we're gonna go the extra mile. The wine can go right in there. Always cover up your clams, guys, until they open up. It's been like five minutes now. Let's check on our clams. Oh, perfect, see? We have a few already open here, these. You can just kind of like pull them out as you go. So they're all gonna be cooked to perfection. Look at these beauties. Oh my God, look at this, guys. No purple inside, you know, look at this. Plumpy, juicy, delicious, little clammy. Okay, all the clams are open. Also, this is your friendly reminder that if your clam does not open, please don't eat it. You're gonna be sick and it's gonna be a bad time. No one likes that. What I wanna do is reduce this to almost nothing and then we're gonna strain that and incorporate this to our amazing butter. And you know, always make sure you taste your food as you go, very salty. Delicious though. I'm gonna strain this beautiful clam cooking juice here. Don't waste anything. Extract all this delicious juice. Next, we're gonna finally chop some parsley. I'm gonna use half of this for the breadcrumb and the other half for the compound butter. 
Okay, so we can put a bit in our bowl with the juice over here, and the rest will be for the bread churn. Next, we're gonna grate one clove of garlic right in there too, because you want this raw, fresh taste of garlic in the, in the butter. And for some freshness, we're also gonna zest one lemon in there. A little bit of lemon juice as well. Uh, next, we're gonna add almost half a pound of room temperature butter in there, and then we're gonna mix it up. Next step, we are gonna cook this amazing thick cut bacon straight from the butcher. Instead of doing like a usual like chopped bacon in the breadcrumb, I wanna keep it nice. So I'm gonna probably just cook it, the whole bacon strips like this, and then cut this uh, into squares. So every single clam gets one piece of bacon. Dry pan, very hot. Bacon goes in. And we're gonna add this on top here. Keep everything nice and flat. Okay, the bacon's good to go. Oh my God, look at these slices, guys. You know. Now, I'm gonna use a bit of this bacon fat for our toasted breadcrumb. But this is a bit much, so I'm gonna discard some in there. Also, don't forget, this fat is super salty. Clams are salty. Butter's gonna be probably salty too, so you know what? Just don't add any salt in this recipe at all, okay? No salt is needed. We have our lovely panko here. You can probably use the regular breadcrumb. I just like this. This one has more texture to it, more a little crunchy. Okay, so breadcrumb in. Okay, it's gonna go fast, guys. It's gonna go fast. You can even go ahead and add this parsley right in there. See, it's already starting to get a nice little golden color. Okay, so the breadcrumb is nice and golden, but not too much because keep in mind, these are gonna go in the oven with the clams. Next step. Now, instead of using the regular bell pepper, now, you know what, no one likes it anyways. You know, bell pepper sucks, I'm gonna say it out loud. Hence the reason why I'm gonna be using these amazing shisito peppers from the market. You know, get some red ones, some green ones, and I'm gonna get those nicely charred, and then I'm gonna cut them in nice little pieces, and same principle as the bacon, every single clam is gonna have a beautiful piece of charred shisito pepper on there. Okay, the butter is now at perfect temperature to be mixed. Look at this, guys, you know? Perfect compound butter. Mmm, missing one thing in there. A touch of black pepper. It's time to assemble! We're gonna put some salt at the bottom of this tray here. And this will hold our clams face up while they're in the oven. Now, for the clams, we're gonna serve them on the half shell. Open up the clam, release the clam, split your shells. Oh, clam down. And clam goes back in. And now we're gonna add some butter on the clams like this. And be generous with the butter, guys. It's never enough, you see? I'm gonna go with a big chunk of butter right on top. Keep it face up. I know it seems like a lot of butter, guys, but guess what? It is. Because these clams, you know, they deserve the best. Spend their whole life in the freaking shell, hiding in the sand from predators, and now they get the royal treatment. You know, it's like the, the best funeral when you think about it, you know? If one day, I mean, you know, one day, when I'll die one day, my goal is to be covered in compound butter and breadcrumb and bacon. So who's gonna be in charge of my funeral arrangement? Don't forget, butter, breadcrumb, bacon, and a nice little glass of cold Chablis. Hit me a little blunt on the side too while we got it, you know? Okay, now there's this nice clam juice left at the bottom here. I'm gonna do a little juicy, extra juicy in there, you know? Breadcrumb, don't put too much though, cause then it just gets, you know, too uh, too crunchy, too doughy, soggy. Just want a bit of crunch on the top, you know, that's all. Now keep in mind that the breadcrumb is already toasted, the clams are cooked, so the goal here is just to make the butter melt. High temperature for a very short time. Let's do it. And it's now time for the final step, assembling. Now, what you could do is, have some spots of like little mountains of salt on your plate, or if you're feeling lazy like me, you know, you can just go with a full platter of salt. Cause it looks good also, you know? So these are good to handle now. They're not too hot. We place them on our plate like this. Oh, fucking hot, Never mind. Now it's probably already amazing as it is now, but you know what? We're not even done yet because we have our pieces of bacon that we can add right on top here. Today I'm not feeling using tweezers, you know what? No tweezers, just good old fingers. 
I just want to wake up the bacon because it's been sitting down for a second, you know, I just wanted to kind of like come back to life. For the peppers, what I want to do is cut them like so, kind of a little piece. And then you can like kind of rotate the colors like this. And there you have it guys, Clams Casino. And now it's time for my favorite part of every single video. It's tasting time. Clam Casino. Mr. Cameraman, can you see this here? Bacon, it's the fat of the bacon, the seasoned the pepper, the buttery, bread crummy, delicious clam. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. That's so good I broke my clam. Mmm. This is like the perfect bite. You know, you get the salty fattiness of the bacon and the butter. You get this fresh little hint of lemon from the zest. It's this fruity little, not spicy, just like a fruity little interesting taste from the pepper on top with the char. And that's a wrap on today's episode of Always Hungry Clams Casino. What a treat. Major thank you to username I am Serena7 or EME Serena. I don't know what your name is, but thank you so much for being a loyal viewer, spamming the comments about this recipe. It was so good to make it again and so good to eat it again. And if you like watching this video as much as I enjoyed eating these slams, please like this video, subscribe, because guess what? We are already past the 70,000 subscribers mark on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry. Peace.